Yay, it's Pilates time. Today, we're doing a reformer class. In this class, we're gonna reconnect all your movements of your arms and legs back into the abs. It's gonna be great fun. All right, so let's get started. Your reformer, make sure that you take your foot bar and bring your foot bar down from its highest level to a moderate level. We're gonna sit the distance of one of your hands because your sacralic joint is the size of your hand. So put your palm on your reformer with your fingers facing the spring to the edge where your hand ends. That is the distance that you're going to sit. I'm using a sticky pad. If you don't have a sticky pad, it's okay. Sticky pad really helps you grip and not roll around the table. So you're going to sit on your sticky pad, put your feet under your foot bar. Let's load up your easiest, easiest spring. So for me, that's a blue. And then add your next easiest spring. So for me, it's a yellow. Two springs, my easiest and my second easiest. Perfect. So bring your legs together. Hug behind your legs. For some of us, this is a little bit difficult because your back is tight. You can space out your legs a little bit. Just keep your feet parallel. So let's start with your back. Flat, your chin lifted. And we're going to squeeze your stomach without holding your breath. Your stomach is engaged. Slowly pull the body forward, rounding the spine. Let the shoulders come forward. Let the weight of your head help you try to bend your spine. As we roll out our table, try to keep your body against the legs and then roll in halfway or so. Squeeze the stomach on the out and then soften the contraction on the in. If you let the weight of your head hang forward, it releases low back stress. Squeeze the stomach on the out, soften on the in, three more. Just whatever your range is with your body and chest as close to or against your legs as you can. Squeeze on the out, soften on the in, one more and then bring your table back in. Perfect. So we're going to put our left arch in the center of the bar with the knee and the toe to the ceiling in what we call parallel. If your back is tight, you can bring that leg out to the left, but try to stay parallel. Both hands on the foot bar. If you can't reach, just hold the carriage. The goal is the same. Press your stomach and your chest against that thigh. Try to get that thigh in between your bust. Roll out, squeeze the abs, roll in, soften. Good. Let that head just hang. Squeeze and contract the abs on the out. Soften on the in. Three more makes five. Roll out, roll in. Even if you're holding the edge of the table, it still works. Roll out. We'll do one more. Roll in, roll out, and hold. Try to lift that bottom right leg up to the bar and down. Lift it. Lift it. Two more. Lift. Holding that right leg up if you can. Roll the table in and roll out. Roll in and roll out. Three more. You should feel the top of the thigh. You should feel your abs. Pull the bar. Pull the body forward. Last one. Roll out, roll in, and right leg down. Let's switch. Left leg to the bottom, right leg to the top. Grab the bar if you can. Relax the neck round the spine. Squeezing the abs on the out, soften on the in. We're getting the low back ready so that we can activate more low stomach and more top of your butt so that your low back has less stress. Two more, squeeze the stomach, hang the head on the out, and then roll in, roll out, squeeze and hold. Bottom left leg, try to lift it up if you can, five. Up four, try to stay flexed and parallel, two. Hold that left leg up, roll in, roll out. Keep your leg up and keep your body down on that thigh, roll out. Three more, roll in, roll out. Squeezing the stomach on the out. Last one. Roll out. And then left leg down. So let's put both feet on the bar. Roll out a little bit. 
We're going to turn our feet outward so the heels are inward and the toes are outward in a V. We call that ballerina turnout. Let's grab the bar. If you can't reach the bar, grab the edge of your table outside the legs. The goal is to pull up the chest, lift the chin, and flatten the back. So squeezing the stomach, flatten the back, and then soften. If your hands are on the bar, you pull the bar, but your feet push the bar. So that's an oppositional force. If you're holding the table, you pull the table, squeeze and push with your feet, lift. One more, squeezing the abs, pull your bust up, lift your chest and hold. So without moving the head or the shoulders, just roll the table out a little bit with your hips. Little arch and curl. Hip out, hip in. Roll out, that's it, and in. Squeezing the stomach. Roll out, roll in. Roll out, roll in. Do two more. And then soften. So let's squeeze your stomach, contracting your pelvic tilt. Round the spine, pulling your head and shoulders forward towards the springs. Roll out the table, squeezing the stomach and roll in. The goal here is to pull the chest and body forward toward the springs. Don't worry if you can't straighten the legs. If you can't hold the bar, you're holding outside the table. Just pull with your arms close to your body. That's it. Last two, squeeze the stomach, roll out, and then roll in, contract, roll out, and then roll in. So let's release the bar and everyone grab the edge of the table. Put your toes on the bar together in the center parallel. So if you can bend your toes, especially that big toe around the bar, it helps us connect the feet to the abdominals when we're walking. So how handy is that? Pull on the edge of your carriage. Here's your carriage. Lift the chest and lift the chin. It's called a carriage because it was invented in the 20s when there were horse and carriages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything has a reason. So lift your bust up and squeeze the stomach. The goal is the head over the hip and the shoulders down. So try to find that position. Ready? Squeezing the abs. Roll out and hold. Both heels go down and up. Focus on toes squeezing the bar, abs squeezing inward. That's it. And back nice and flat. Do three more. Excellent. Bending one knee at a time without lifting your foot off the bar. Switch. I'm gripping the bar with the toe on the bent knee and pulling the carriage. I pull with that top foot. Switch. Squeeze. So if you're feeling like you can hold your back flat, your movements need to be smooth so that you don't knock your Siamese cat off your table. Oh, you don't have one? <laughs> I found her in the street. Okay, arms nice and low and see if you can hold. If you can't hold, just grab the legs or hold the edge of the carriage again. Three more, this heel, that heel, this heel, that heel, and then bend the knees, grab the carriage. So we're gonna do a pelvic tilt, bending at the belly button, a C curve, hold the carriage, contract your abdominals, bend at the belly button. So this is as far as I can lean back without releasing the edge of the table. Squeezing the stomach, roll back, both heels down and up. The goal is push the abs down as the heels go down. Try to create activation in the abs. Try not to let your toes come up. Do two more. Drop the heels and stay. Let's try to bend that left knee into the abs and just touch, touch your abs. If your back is super tight, you can use your arm to help you pump. So we'll do left knee up, right heel down, lift and drop, lift and drop, lift. If you're feeling good, you can release your carriage, lean back a little bit more. Heel down, leg up, heel down, leg up, heel down, leg up. Can you straighten that leg? If you can't, just hold it. Four, three, two, one more. Right leg down. Roll up, bend the knees, and grab your carriage. Again, contract at the pelvic tilt. C curve. Roll back. 
heels go down, push the abs in, heels down, abs in, heels down, abs in. One more, pick up that right knee with a bend, drop the left heel, lift the right knee, lift and drop, lift and drop. If you're feeling good, release the carriage, roll the spine back further, heel down, knee up, heel down, knee up. The further back you go, more challenging. Can you straighten that right leg? Lift and lift and lift and lift. Two more. And then leg down and then roll up. Perfect. When you're ready, bring your carriage in. All right. So we're going to come up. Let's bring your sticky pad all the way to the very edge of your table. Leave just about an inch or two. Make sure that your headrest is down and we're gonna go to our lightest spring. So I'm gonna move my pillow and towel out of the way. Perfect. On my lightest spring, which is my blue, sitting on my sticky pad. All right, see if you can get both of your legs through the shoulder rest. If your back is really tight, we're gonna bend the knees. The priority here is chest up and back flat. Perfect, arms nice and low, feet flexed. So let's warm up the arm connection to the abs. We're gonna put your left hand on the table, press down, push down push. When you push down, try to keep that left shoulder down. So put your right hand on your right waist and see if you feel the waist contract, contract. Can you feel that waist muscle contract and get a little bit harder? So turn that waist on, keep it on and start pumping your arm. Perfect. Can you feel that connection to the waist? Five seconds. Release, let's do the right side. Right side to the table, push down. See if you can feel the left waist, push down. Bend the knees, it will help you if you're not finding that waist. It's there, even if it's a tiny contraction. Are you feeling it? All right, bring that right arm up and pump. Trying to keep that waist muscle engaged. Can you feel it? So let's put both hands on the carriage and push down. When you press down and turn on the waist, it lifts the chest and naturally drops the shoulder. It's a biomechanical thing that happens. This is why I want you to attach those arms into the waist and that will go through to the abdominals, through the obliques. Push. One more. Push. Now hold the waist. Can you feel it? Bring the hands up just a little bit and start pumping them. Perfect. You should feel the waist. Contract your pelvic tilt C curve. Roll back, bend at that belly button, squeezing the abs. Make sure you have enough butt on table that you don't feel you're gonna fall. Feeling your abs, five seconds. Perfect, start sliding the left knee in to the abs, pumping your arms, sliding. And you're saying, this is not a mat class. I wanna use my reformer, but wait. We will switch. Let's do the other leg. Switch. It's important that we sequentially turn on the right muscles so that when you're working, you're working from all the right spots. Roll up. So now we're going to use those straps on your lightest spring and make sure that we feel the waist turning on. It's not about an arm exercise, even though you are exercising the arms. It's about connecting that arm to the waist. So palms are back, open the hands, fingers toward the floor. Before you press the straps, lift the bust and with your fingers, push downward on an invisible counter. If you need to put your fingers on the edge of your table and push to just remind yourself, if you see your bust lifting and the shoulders dropping, the waist is on. Can you feel that? Okay, so now, Without holding the table, I'm gonna do it in the air. I've got it. All right, ready? One is my easiest, 10 is my hardest contraction. Level one to level three. 
rolling the carriage with my back flat. Don't let the shoulders come up. Keep that arm connected to the abdominals. Feet are flexed. If you need to, always bend the knees more. As you pump your hands, contract your pelvic tilt C curve. Keep the waist connection. Keep the shoulders down. Small and bitchy does it. Little roll. You don't have to lean super far. As soon as you feel your abs, you're there. Keep sliding the hands at this short, quick speed. Slowly slide the left knee in and out. Little pushes. Knee in, knee out. Two speeds. Knee in, knee out. So we give priority to the arms. One more. Switch the leg, right leg in. Still feeling the stomach and waist, right leg out. Right leg in, slide, right leg out. Two more, right leg in. Little rolling of your table and out. Last one, right leg in, right leg out, and then roll up. So let's get a little bit more challenge. Here are your hands. The palms are open, thumbs on top of your straps. Lift your chest. Remember, you can bend the knees as much as you need to. Your priority is head, shoulder, and hip in one line. Don't lean back and try not to slump. All right, small, without bending the line of your wrist. Keep your wrist straight. Just the fingers are bending. Squeezing the abs little pulse. Again, level one to level three. Try never to let the strap get soft to a level zero. And keep your speed the same on the pull and the unpull. Yeah. Can you keep those arms going? Contract your pelvic tilt. Roll back. So now we're attaching more of the posterior deltoid and subscapularis, whatever those are, muscles to your stomach. Those are your little wingy muscles, right? Your little wingies back there. Okay, when you're ready, let's slide the left leg in, roll, roll, and out, pull, pull, leg in, leg out. Let's do one more leg in. Now, if this is all you got, you can stay there or rest, but if you want, straighten that knee. Pull and straighten, pull and straighten. Don't change your head. This is changing the length of the back muscles and the stomach muscles. Do one more, leg down, leg in, pull. Flatten the abs, slide the right leg in, pull, pull, right leg out. Right leg in, right leg out. One more, right leg in. If you're good, just wait. Straighten and bend. Straighten, pull. Straighten, pull, you got it. Squeeze. Four, three, two, one more. Leg down, roll up. Fingers to the floor, contract your pelvic tilt C-curve. This time with your C-curve, come forward. Get your bust and head toward your ankles. Pull your toes up. We're gonna press the arms to whatever your 10 is, squeezing the stomach, pushing the chest down. Release to level three. Again, the abs contract as you push your body forward, hands back, body forward, body forward, and then release halfway. Three more, squeeze the stomach, chest down, arms back. Whatever you got, it's good, push, come forward. Pulling your toes up in the best flex you can. Last two, push, 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 come down. And then soften. Last one, we're going to hold it if you can. Press the arms back, chest down, and hold. Don't move the arm, just bend at the elbow. Bend and straighten. Just the elbow hinges and straightens. Squeezing the stomach, straighten. Two more, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, and then come on up. Stellar. All right, so come on up. So. We're gonna move our sticky pad if you had it. Let's bring your foot bar up to whatever is your highest level. Right now I still have my lightest spring on. I'm gonna add my second lightest spring to it like I had before. So I have a blue and a yellow. It's your lightest spring and then your second lightest spring for a total of two. All right, so I'm gonna find my little 
cervical neck pillow. This pillow is designed to create an arch in your neck that goes in your shoulder rest. And let's put our towel on top so that we can live in the lap of luxury. Two springs, lay down on your reformer. If you see that your stomach is a little bit stressed because your low back is tight, you can lift your shoulder rest head piece up, but not too high, okay? So lay down, make sure that your pillow goes under your neck. My mic doesn't let my pillow go under my neck. So I have to create my own arch. Okay, so you can always tell if there's an arch if you have your chin lifted and the shoulders flat to the table. Perfect. So let's pick up your straps. Make sure your fingers are pointing up to the ceiling and your arms are separated the distance of your shoulders. With your feet on the foot bar, press your hands down lower than the height of your bust. So even though we're laying down, it's the same idea of creating a pressure to turn the waist on. The shoulder blades, push them down to the table. Now pretend someone is lifting and pulling your fingers up to the ceiling, let the shoulder blades come up and then let them just drop like they just release your hands. Three more times, shoulders up, shoulders, let them drop. Shoulders up, shoulders drop. One more, shoulders up, shoulders drop. Keep that shoulder against the table. You can bend the elbows a little bit, never lock the arm, but try not to bend all the way. All right, so squeezing my stomach, I have some weight on my hand straps, some weight weight on the arches of my feet that are together with the toes up. Without moving your carriage, bend at the belly button and curl your tailbone up just a little and then release. Roll up and down, little lift and drop. As you lift and drop, keep your chin and shoulders from reacting. Press your knees together. Squeeze like you're squeezing a wad of hundred dollar bills. Squeeze, lift and drop. Nothing changes. You got it? With your knees together, just straighten your left leg and lift and drop. Weight on my hands, weight on my foot. Lift and lift. You should feel that right hamstring. It should almost be cramping. Two more. Left leg down, roll up. Press those legs together. Squeeze your stomach up. Squeeze, release, contract, release. With the knees together, right leg up, squeeze and squeeze. The hamstrings need to get more power so that your quads get a little bit less bossy and do everything. Do two more on that left leg and then both legs down, lift, lift, lift. Do one more, hips down. Check your shoulders are against the table. The chin is up. If you're feeling good, you're going to bring both knees to the chest. If not, keep your feet on the bar and use your hamstrings to lift. So with your feet as close as you can get them to your butt, just lift the knees. Just lift the knees. Now use that little knee pump to roll your hip up. Squeeze in the air. Squeeze the abs. Squeeze. Let's pay attention now to the speed of your ass hitting the table. Roll up. Come down as slow as you can. Squeeze. Try to slam on the brakes. Roll up. Squeeze. With your knees together, straighten the left leg. Squeeze. If your feet are on the bar, you're just repeating. Don't worry. It still works so that next time you'll join us. Do one more. Bend that left knee, straighten that right leg, squeeze the knees, try to land slower, roll up, come down, roll up, come down slow, do two more, if you're feeling good, both legs, if not rest, squeeze, roll up, roll up, three, keep those chins up, two, one more, and feet on the bar. Perfect. So we're going to put your feet in the straps. If you feel that your back is super tight and you want a little less spring, you can take less spring. Rolling back. I load one foot. If you bend that knee and put that foot nice and low, it will always keep you safe when you load up onto your straps. Even if you've done this a billion times, the one day you've been out partying and your back is tight, you can hurt yourself. And we don't want that. Arms on the table. All right. So. We're going to start with your feet parallel and flexed. 
for our leg circles. You may have done leg circles a million times, but let's do them the real way. With your legs glued together, soft knees, don't lock them, you can bend extra. Feel your ass, even with your hand, on the table. Slowly, let the legs come up, watch the knees, don't let them lock. How high can your legs come up without your ass lifting? Perfect. Now forget about your ass. Push your stomach down and feel the low back against the carriage. Feel your stomach sinking inward. You can put your hand there. That is as low as I can go without my stomach pushing up and my back lifting off the table. Let's go to the top again. Feel your butt on the table. Soft knees, soft knees. Squeeze your stomach. Keep your low back on the table. Don't let your abs blub upward. Very technical, blubbing upward. Legs come, push your ass down, ass down, ass down. Legs go down. It's about the abs, 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 back on table. So that's the top and the bottom of your circle. So let's go to the top. Legs come up. Separate your feet. Stay parallel. Here is where you squeeze the stomach when the legs go down. Squeeze the abs, squeeze the abs. Soon as the legs meet, it's inner thigh and push your ass to the table. Forget your stomach. Let it come out. Let it come out. Wait for your legs to open wide. And this is where you squeeze the stomach. Try not to lock the knees. Soon as the legs meet, let your stomach go and push your ass to the table. You're a paperweight. You're a tiger. You're a tiger. When you come to the top, open. Here's where you squeeze the abs as tight as you can. Don't use the breath. Do two more. Find your top ass on table. Open. Abs, power, motor the table, stomach, legs meet, inner thigh and butt, open, squeeze the stomach, don't lock the knees, last one, bring the legs up, don't lift that ass off the table, it's super hard, open the legs wide when you're wide, contract the abdominals, back to table, back to table, go to the bottom and wait, the reverse is the hard direction. Press your inner thigh together right now, really strong, and squeeze your abs. Can you feel your abs? Okay. Hold your stomach in as tight as you can. At the bottom, start to open the legs. The legs come up. You can barely feel your stomach. I know. Keep your ass on the table. As soon as the legs meet, squeeze the stomach and the inner thigh. The inner thigh helps you find the stomach. Open. Try to hold the stomach in, 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 in. Legs together, inner thigh abs. Don't let your chin react to your ass. Open, trying to hold those stomachs tight, 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 tight. Your chin can only react to someone else's ass if they're hot. Soft knees, squeeze. Don't drop that chin. Flatten that ab. Don't let it blubby out. Open, trying to hold the stomach in. Last two, go down, contract the abs. Flatten, flatten. Hold the abs in as you open. Stay parallel with those legs and flex your feet. No squeeze stomach down what do you mean no quads don't point your feet and cheat with your quads legs up oh they've always made you point because this is real pilates bring your legs down find your bottom like we did before it's the lowest spot with my ab in and my back on the table turn your feet out into a v we call that ballerina Squeeze your heels together. Press like you're holding $1,000 bills. Hold that squeeze as the knees bend and straighten. Next time you bend the knees and squeeze your money, force your knees open. It's oppositional energy. Heel in, knee out. At the same time, synchronize like underwater ballet. Heels in, knees out. Push those heels, spread those and straighten so good for the low stomach push the heels together force the knees open 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 and straighten last two press the heels together firm open the knees more force the knees open yes you can and straighten don't lift your little ass last one bend the knees and hold my knees are pushing open my heels are squeezing inward lift your ass up and come down gentle five contract release. Don't let your chin change its position. Three more. Lift and drop. Little lift up and 
drop. Little lift up and hold. Push your feet together to where you can with your ass up and bend. Six. Same heels in, knees out. Five. Little baby floating of my ass. It's almost nothing. Four. But I can feel the abs. Three. Contract. Squeeze those heels together. Two. One more. And then hips down. Perfect. Take your time. Legs off the straps. Straps to your table. And when you're ready, come on up. Perfect. So we're going to go to your lightest spring. I know I'm sweating. Put your hips all the way against the shoulder rest. Let's bring your bar down all the way because I realize that everyone is taller than I. I'm only five feet tall. And I'm almost 70. Yes, 70. I know. I'm so excited. I can't wait to hit 100 any day now. <laughs> God willing. Now, if your back is tight because you're sitting all day, and I get it, I want you to bend the knees as much as it takes. Here's your priority it's the ass, the shoulder, and the head. Try not to slump forward or lean backwards. You got it? All right. So, arms out. Press on your carriage and turn on the waist again. Arm to waist. See if it gives a little lift of the chest. Push. Push. Joseph Pilates invented the reformer, and he called it universal reformer because his idea was to change the sequence of muscle contractions so that everything attaches to the abdominal. Do that one more time. Now, hold that chest up. Can you have that feeling? Bring your arms out nice and low. Squeeze the stomach. Pump your arms quickly. See that arm pump is attached into the waist, and it will find the stomach. Just five seconds. Perfect. Joe invented the reformer because the mat was so hard, mat Pilates. A lot of people couldn't do it properly. The reformer holds you in the right position with the right teacher so that you can execute the movements and have a faster result. From the springs on the table, fingers to the floor, chest up, squeeze the stomach. It's the back of your hand forward. Try not to bend those fingers. See how my hand is through the loop? Thumbs inward. All right, start with your straightest position. Let me find it. That's my straightest. Turn on the waist before you move the strap. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Hands up, just barely past the edges of the table. Bring them inward a little. Touch, little lift, touch. So would you say that this is level three? You know, whatever. Less than a 10, touch. Next time the arms come up, if you can, lift your left leg. Lift. If you can't lift it, just bend the knee inward. Still lifting. Two more. Up. Up, leg down, just the arms. Don't let the body react to the leg, right leg. Either slide it or lift it. I'm watching you. Sit taller. Squeeze that stomach. Four, three, two. Legs down, just the arms. Up, up. Last two, up and hold. Bend your elbows far from each other, all the way behind you more. More, keep your hand the same height as the elbow, stay. Here's the chicken wing, don't do it. I don't want this, the chicken wing. I want the elbow down and the same height, hand and elbow. From here, ready, just the left arm. Little push forward, don't strain it, just engage it. Five carat diamond would be suffice. I'm joking, engage it. Lift the opposite leg or slide it on the table. Left arm, right leg, three. Left arm, right leg, so that when you walk, you're engaging more waist and abs. Leg down. Let's just do the right arm. Little snivel forward. Are you sitting tall? Little movement. Do one more. Opposite leg sliding or lifting. You pick. Squeeze the stomach. Don't let your body react. Three more. Squeeze. Right arm, left leg. Last one. Leg down. And then soften. Turn your palms forward. Look, the hand just swivels in the strap. Thumbs out. Contract your pelvic tilt. C-curve. Ribs in. Come forward. Gravity. Pull me down. Pull me down. Hanging the head. Using the straps. 
press the straps forward as you press your head towards your feet, 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 and then release halfway. Let's squeeze the stomach on the next. Hands forward, chest down. Squeeze the abs, squeeze the abs. More, 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 more. Release halfway. Flex your feet even more. Pull the toes up. Ready? Squeeze the stomach. Hands forward. Pull the toes up. Come forward, forward. And release halfway. Perfect. Two more. Squeeze the abs. Push the body forward to the feet. Come down, come down. And then soften. Last one. We're going to stay a moment. Squeeze the stomach. Arms forward. Chest down and hold. Bend the elbows behind you. Close to the body and straighten. Five. Squeezing the stomach the whole time. And straighten. Four. Flex your feet. Smooth movement. No jerking the table. Three. Bend, bend, bend. All the way behind you. And straighten. Two. One more. Bend, 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 and straighten, and then soften. And voila, for today, we are done. So, I'm Pilates Master Nikki, and I'm here for you. Remember, a Pilates Master gets dramatic results in a fraction of the time. Any Pilates teacher will get results for you, but we want to get the results quickly and safely. So, people aren't talking about something very important. Did you know that pain is really our friend? Pain alerts us that something is wrong. Knee pain, that there's bad friction. Shoulder pain, there's bad friction. Headache, right? There's not enough blood flow to the head. Maybe you had too much salt or much tequila with your salt in your margarita, right? So, we try to get rid of the pain by just shutting it up instead of listening and saying why are you hurting and making an adjustment to really relieve the issue so that the body stops sending you the pain signal so that's what we try to do here in real pilates we will give you a better alignment of your bones so that there's ease of motion and there are no two bodies that are alike there is no cookie cutter that is going to work for everyone it's excellent if you take your pictures just three quick little pictures and just upload them to me and i'll give you a quick little assessment for free and i'll show you which classes would be best for you i really am here for you i am your sherpa i am here to change your body to make you happy in your body because until we can clone it's the only one we're getting all right thanks for hanging and i will see you again for another layer of real pilates until then be happy and pilates will make you happy so do some more mm -hmm.